Okay. So we're carrying on at 6.6. Um, we saw that the center of mass is a point in space where it is as if all the mass is concentrated at this, at this point and it's a point where you can balance the object. Okay? Now, how do we actually calculate it? Okay? So, this R, remember R is a position vector. So, it's related to position. So, the position of the center of mass measured from some reference frame is equal to let's just let's just do a simple example here if you've got object a and object b object a has mass a and b has mass let's call it yeah that's fine okay and we choose we choose some reference frame okay so say now reference frame is there so now the position of A is XA and the position of B is XB, okay? So that's its position. So we've got the mass of the first object times its position, okay? So it'll be mass of A times X of A plus the mass of B times its position relative to this reference frame, okay? And then you add up, you do this for all the masses, all the objects inside the system, and you divide by the total inertia. Okay, so this is the equation. So the point is that it gives you a position. Okay, this is another way of writing it. Okay, is x, your uh, x position, say this is the x axis, the position along the x axis is m. 1 times x1 plus m2 times x2. Now I want you to take note of these little bars. So this x1, you need to see that it can also be a negative value. Uh, x1 or x2, this value of x can also be a negative value depending on where you take it from. Okay, we'd, we'll see that in the next example. Alright, so um, the point is that this gives you a position. So this, the center of mass for these two will most likely be somewhere here, somewhere between them for this simple example. Okay? And recall, it is as if these masses are concentrated there. Okay? And if you could somehow um, support the system, if you applied a force over there, you could balance the system so that it does not rotate. Okay, see you in the next one.